Oh, something. Oh, this one. Look, it's a Luvinia 8 arm sea star. Oh, is it the long-awaited marine treasure hunt episode? Yes, it is. We are here today with PUB's new mascot, Water Sally and her brother, Water Wally. Hello, guys. So today, we'll be exploring the shores and mangroves of Pasir Ris Park. Now, the Pasir Ris Beach here boasts a sandy shore that can get quite muddy sometimes, so we expect to find a lot of soft-bodied and burrowing animals that adapt to such environments. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go! Let's go! Ah, okay. So, Water Sally says that she's here with us today to share with us more about Singapore's coastal protection efforts alongside us looking for wildlife because coastal protection happens to be one of our favourite topics. Right now, we are experiencing a low tide with the sea level at about 0.2 metres. So this exposed area here is known as the intertidal zone where you can find a lot of marine creatures lying around. As you guys all know, Singapore is a tiny island surrounded by the sea. So about 30% of our country is actually less than 5 metres above sea level. What's that? What's that? So there's a pair of snapping shrimp here and it looks like they're creating a burrow. So whenever you visit the shore, you hear a tuk. A click, like a click sound, right? It's actually made by this snapping shrimp. The sound comes from actually the bubbles that collapse all together when they make this snapping motion. We found a bunch of live green mussels. You can look at this. These are the byssus threads. So mussels are one of the few species of shellfish, right? They actually produce their own threads because they have to attach themselves to the walls and they will like congregate in this big group of mussels. our sea level is projected to rise by about 1 metre by the year 2100. Now, I know 1 metre might not sound like a lot, but remember, we're in an island surrounded by the sea. Issues such as flooding and soil erosion will happen more frequently and will be more difficult to control as well. The year 2100 may feel quite far away, but let's put it this way. If you have kids right now, or have them like the next few years, your kids will be 70 to 80 years old in the year 2100. Ooh, Water Wally found a live sea urchin. So this is the live black sea urchin. You can see the spines are moving and there's a lot of random pieces of shell and debris like stuck around it. So this is on purpose and it's to help them camouflage with the surroundings. Come here, come here! We found okay, this thing! Look, it's a Luidia 8 arm sea star! So this is a Luidia 8 arm sea star. It's trying to move from one place to another and they do so by extending their tubular feet. And this is a lot of effort, lah, so they move quite slowly. Guys, what do you think underneath this moving shell? Is it a crab? I think so! Let's find out! Oh! It's a leaf potter see. crab! You actually don't see them walking around openly. They actually hide beneath leaves. That's what's called leaf potter. And even shells like this. We have reached a rather rocky part of the shore here where there's a lot of boulders, tiny rocks and crevices. So I think we'll find a lot of animals hiding around here. If an animal managed to find a hole to hide in, it's actually a rather good and protective spot because it'd be difficult for the predators to you know, try to brave the waves and crush through the rocks just to get them. Oh, what do we have here? We are looking at a sloping revetment which is covered with various armour rocks to break up the strong energy of the waves. Ah, I see, I see. I see the wall facing the sea. It's a seawall. You see, here I am with water wall and water cell to see the seawall facing the sea. We see a more marine treasure hunt to do. I found anemones, and it may not look like anything, but you can look at these tiny little dots here. It's a bit shiny. So all these are actually bit anemones. So when the height comes in, right, then they will tentacles will extend out. Oh, this thing is moving. Yes, this is actually a live animal. It's the pimply orange slug. So you see them along the walls where they graze on the algae that are found on the rocks. And they actually are quite visible during low tide because they are very resistant to the dry weather. They can go long periods without water. So they are one of the more common animals they can find here on the sloping revetment as well. As you can see, coastal protection structures can coexist with coastal and marine ecosystems and in some cases, even enhance the coastal and marine environment. What's that? This is the proper guild of a mangrove. So I think there are mangroves nearby. Let's go check them out. Okay. Oh, be careful. Watch your step, watch your step. Pasir Ris Park is also known for their mangroves and the amazing wildlife that you can find here. Oh, so you guys have actually seen how mangroves protect coastlines from erosion, storm surges and even tsunamis in other countries? Wow, you guys do travel quite a bit. 
what you guys observe makes sense too because as you can see here, the mangroves have massive root systems that are really effective in breaking down the energy of strong waves and slowing down incoming tides. Studies are also being conducted to see how we can use plants such as mangroves and even seagrasses as forms of natural measures to mitigate flooding from tidal surges on top of our man-made coastal defences that keep the rising sea out. Coastal protection is really not an easy task to undertake, especially for an island like Singapore. But the reality is, we have to protect our coastlines from rising sea levels and we have to do it now. Right guys? Right? Right? Oh. Okay, so Water Wally and Sally just told me that they have a new water club for kids under the age of 12 where they can learn what Singapore is doing to protect our coastlines while ensuring water sustainability for all of us. So I'll put the link in the video caption below for you guys to find out more. Hope you guys enjoyed today's marine treasure hunt with our little friends here. Just keep thinking!